If you want to further improve your graphical presentation in PowerPoint, there is one other option in the insert tab named smart chart. But to learn more about this, I'll just insert a new slide. If you want to create a new slide, just click on the last slide, right click and click on new slide. Now let's insert something here. Let me write something. Now you can see that these points are under bullet points. You can convert it in a smart art. That means these points will be shown as a chart, which is very effective for the presentations. Let me zoom it a little bit. Now if I select and then select smart chart, I have the option to choose from all list in which you can mention it in list process. And we have a couple of other options as well, but let's stick with the process. And if I scroll down, find this option. So just select this and click OK. Now you will notice that it doesn't automatically transfer all the bullet points to this chart. That means we have to manually mention each of them. So either you can mention it from here or you can just simply close it, uh, readjust the size. To adjust it on your charts and then write the points. Now you will notice that when I start writing, it will automatically readjust the text to fill it within that box. Now this smart chart contains three shapes. If I want to insert one shape after, just right click and click on add shape, add shape, shape after. So it will insert the new shape. You can extend the size. And last point is, so this inserted our chart, but all of these shapes are with in same color. So I can change the color scheme. You can change it to multi colors, something like this. You can change the effects of it. And you can even change colors manually from change colors and then go to recolor pictures in smart art graphics. So afterwards, just choose the shape and go to format. Now, if you notice, if you selected the shape, you will see this two special tabs related to the smart art tools, design and format. So I'll go to format and change the shape fill to, let's make this one to dark in color, select other shape. Next one we have is this. So this way we can insert this chart. Now, if I want to change this kind of smart chart to another sequence, so just select it overall from the corner. If you select once, it will select the complete smart art with all the shapes. Now, let's right click and convert to shapes. Now let's right click and click on layout. You can see this layout here. And if you want to change it, to any other sequence, you can see the previews like this. For example, this is good. Change it to this. Now I've changed the shapes. You can enlarge it. Afterwards, you can just reset it to the original sequence. And that's how we insert smart charts. Now, if I want to convert these bullet points to the smart chart automatically, we don't want to write each individual text in the smart art. So let's just see how to delete this smart art. First, I'll click here above the shapes. So it will select the complete area and then simply click on delete. Now let's select all the text and just right click and click on convert to smart art. And there we can see all the options. So if I click on any, it will automatically convert it to smart art after which you can just change the shapes to colorful or anything like this. If you want to manually set the colors, you can follow the same method as I've shown you earlier. Similarly, if you want to change the layout and see all the options, what other options we have in the, all the options, what other options we have in the smart chart, just right click and go to change layout. So this will show you all the options 
that we have in the smart chart. So you can choose any option you want. Let's control Z. So that's how we can insert smart charts in PowerPoint.